opposition party and some other candidates, Atiku Abubakar, absent at a peace accord meeting for political parties and presidential candidates today in Abuja. And disagreements at the National Assembly today between lawmakers over President Buhari's addition to the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Well, thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Shion Joaquin Baloye in Abuja, the nation's capital. Check out the countdown clock right here on Channel's television as we look forward to the 2019 general elections. Everyone is less than 60 days to the crucial elections and we're keeping you right in the mood of what is happening. 66 days and we're keeping tabs on the 2019 crucial elections. First, let's tell you about some of the stories making the rounds in Nigeria at the moment. Following President Muhammad Buhari's refusal to assent to the Electoral Act Amendment Bill passed by the National Assembly, some federal lawmakers have expressed displeasure uh, on the President's letter, which was read in both chambers on Tuesday, prompting insinuations from some of the lawmakers that an override will be uh, effected. However, the President's decision received the support of some of the lawmakers, bringing to question whether the dissatisfied lawmakers have the numbers to override the president on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Well, now, let's tell you more about some of the political stories we're following for you in our political roundup. The Ogun State Governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the 2019 governorship election, Mr. Dakwa Biodu, has assured that machinery is being put in place by the leadership of the party to settle the lingering crisis in the state chapter of the party. He was speaking in Iperu Remo North local government area of the state while addressing party officials, his supporters and journalists on his program of action if elected the governor of the state. The governorship candidate promised the people of the state purposeful leadership hinged on transparency and accountability, while also assuring that the internally generated revenue of the state will be increased by 50%. He, however, solicited for the understanding and support of residents in making the dream a reality. Delta State Governor has urged members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to guard against any attempt to rig the 2019 elections, expressing confidence that the PDP has successfully executed project that will earn it victory in the 2019 general elections. Governor Okoa made this call at the formal inauguration of the PDP Campaign Council in Asaba, the state capital. Charging the members of the council to run an issue-based campaign, he asked them not to take for granted what he called the weakness of the opposition and an attempt by them to allegedly truncate the electioneering process or rig the elections adding that all campaigns should be concentrated at the unit levels. That none of our leaders will keep their eyes shut and wait for somebody else to win the election. Because that's the thing they are trying to do. The River State Governor Yesam Wike has again raised alarm over alleged plans by the ruling party to rig the 2019 elections, a situation he believes will put the country on the brink of a major crisis. The governor, who voiced his concern during a courtly visit by the new Anglican bishop of the Niger Delta North, explained by the non-assent by President Muhammad Buhari on the Electoral Act, was a clear signal of an attempt to allegedly subvert the wishes of the people, which according to him borders on national unity. The governor identified Rivers and Akwaibom State as major targets for Regan, but warned of dire consequences. 